Welcome back to Abundance Thursdays with Vinny Chopra. My name is Walter Morello, and I'm about to ask some great questions to a billionaire who's on his way to make the billion dollars. He's like <laughs> right there. Uh, what's the net worth now? 700 million, Vinny? I think that's close. Uh, well, portfolio, yes. Almost 800 million portfolio. Of course, you know, it all comes with the rewards that come with it, you know, so multi multi millionaire hopefully a billionaire in some time <laughs> so what's the step Vinny? first you got to think a billion and then you buy a billion so you're close to buying the billion and then after that's net worth of a billion then it's earn a billion so you, you said it's been a yeah, while back you you maybe six it, seven brother. years <laughs> you got it brother you got it you know i think the biggest thing i could say to everybody listening to us it's the attitude attitude of abundance and that's why we say this show has abundance mindset but we're going to be digging deeper into what it really takes, what it really, you know, a manifestation. I really believe in secret. You know, the book came out, right? The secret book. And of course, you could just Google or just go on YouTube and say law of attraction. I think that'll be amazing, amazing content there because you've got to really think everything happens in our life twice. Why do I say that? And Stephen Covey said it, and everybody, all the Jim Rohns and all, because you got to first believe and think, whether if accomplished or not accomplished, you've got to put it in your mind and that seed that you want to be somewhere, you know, very positive. You want to be somewhere where it's just, you know, a different place where you are not right now, right? And then it happens in mind first, Physically, it happens later on. Physically, yeah. it happens later on. So it always happens twice. Yeah, it's funny. I, I wrote down one of the top questions <laughs> I get is how do you invest without money? How do you invest in real estate without money? How does a beginner invest in real estate without money? And that, you know, their, their thing, well, what do you want me to do, Vinny? You want me to think I have the money? Like, <laughs> how does that work? Okay, very good point. Very good point. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. So very interesting. I know we started in single family homes, as you know, Walter. I mean, you know, buying for 65,000 single family home was my first one, by the way. 65,500. We put 11,000 down. It increased in value to 300 some thousand. You know, in California, things go high, very high. Right, we took a loan on that one. That was good loan. We call it bad loan and good loan. Right, it's a good loan if you reinvest that prop mine uh, money into more houses. So from one house, we invested I think three in uh, over there in Arizona. We flew in one day. The broker showed us, and we bought two that day. My wife and I. Then we bought another one. But what I wanted to say was the world of syndication. Uh oh, what is syndication? Here we go. Everybody, what is that? <laughs> everybody listening to us, you know, world of syndication is to use other people's money. So I have this 800 million or whatever portfolio. Can I say something? I invested $1,000 of my own money. Hold on. What did Vinny just say? What did you just That's say, Vinny? <laughs> It's the truth. It's the real truth, even though we had money. But my wife didn't believe in it, me, you know, in this business. And my daughter didn't believe. And family, they said, you will just take whatever you have and lose it. And I'm sure everybody comes across those naysayers, you know. But you've got to hunker down. You've got to believe in yourself. If, if Fake it till you make it. Okay, let's say that. I mean, that's the real if, truth. If you I'm have to say you. it, right? Like, that's that yeah. works too. Yeah. It works. It works, brother. And the good part is that you got to definitely fake it. And then you learn and you educate and you take steps to really feel comfortable. It's a fear. It's a lot of fear. I went through all that and more. I mean, you know, ups and downs. But consistency is the key to success. You've yeah. got to keep your mind right. You've got to get refocused and refocused and refocused and refocused, just like a plane. Brother, yeah. when the plane takes off a jet 747 from Los Angeles to go to New York, hold on. Do you think it goes in straight line, the shortest distance? No, never, never, ever, ever. So that's what our life is about, too. 
our goals. We reach goals, but we don't go straight line to the goals at all. We go zigzag. We go here. We got hurdles. We got this. We got this situation. We got you know down you know uh, down below. You got to come different level. Not thirty thousand to twenty five thousand level, brother. You know when the rough roughness of the atmosphere comes, but you got to keep pointing towards New York. That's the key. See, that's the real. The wind's gonna push you around. The slipstream will move you. The other traffic in the air is gonna move you. I want to go back to this. You mentioned you mentioned fake it till you make it. Now, I think this is something that's totally misunderstood in the world because. We do live in a world of authenticity, like, and you have to be authentic and you have to be yourself. Uh, yeah. But faking it, when you say fake it, I know you're not saying like lie to people that you're going to be successful. Like what you're saying is, uh, and I want you to explain it is, oh, like yeah. my interpretation oh, yeah. is like, you've got to almost fake it to yourself. Like just, just pretend Never. like you've got this and step exactly. into it. And you're so right about it, Walter. Thanks for clarifying that. Fake yeah. it. Never fake your, what you have, where you are, you got to be truthful. You got to be totally sincere. I think maybe last week when we did the abundance mindset, I talked about my one investor and he kept on asking me, my very first investor, have you done it? I said, no. He says, would you move to you know Texas? I was buying the property there. I said, no, I won't. He says, do you have the loan? I said, no. <laughs> I mean, you got to be authentic. You got to really give the truth. People will take your excitement and your enthusiasm and your PowerPoints. I think I mentioned five slides, you know, which I said single family and multifamily and why it's the best way and how we can do economies of scale and everything and everything, right? So the investor friend just believed in me, my, my sincerity. So it, I was faking it, but to myself, becoming a person that I want to become someday, see? So you've yeah. got to mindset yourself and say, I'm in the process of becoming that person, but you've got to do yourself everything in your power to learn, to educate, to you know, do the research, have the burning desire, and then you know, learn the techniques. Because if you're just saying, I'm faking it to be a millionaire, but you are not really doing the things, hey, give up. Give up, brother. This is not going to work. Or, 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 yeah, or sister, you know, whoever is listening, you know, you got to just be candid to yourself. Who is the CEO of our life? We are. We are the CEO. If we are not getting results, it's because of us. If we are negative, if we are not accomplishing from yesterday to today, and if we are not goal-oriented, if we didn't write down our goals, if we didn't put down our steps that we want to do, to achieve success, then give up, give up. Okay, go back. You know, I mean, the thing is, you got to really make a decision yourself where you want to be. Because if you are not where you want to be, it's because of you. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Finny, I love, I love that you're willing to just say, look, give up. Because I mean, you're the most positive guy out there. You're and you, you're explaining, you know, authenticity and like being real and being like, look, you're not going to have to be perfect. But at the same time, you're saying, look, if if you're uncomfortable with being uncomfortable, yeah, give up now. Like, why why ask for more? Why want more from the universe? You know, if you're happy with where you're at, stay there. Um, one of the one of the things that we talked about this week on the Hundred Millionaires podcast, and I kind of want to play and I want to get your opinion on this is gratitude. I know you're a grateful person. I know you wake up every day living in yes. gratitude, and I I'm I have a sneaky suspicion that this is one of your secret powers. This is one of the things that has made you extremely successful. Obviously, you believe in yourself, and you're willing to uh, work through that the beliefs as you know maybe the real world doesn't show you that yet, but you're starting to you just see it in your head, you fake it in your head until uh, I manifest, but how do you stay grateful when, and let's be real, sometimes things go sideways. You know, even with your experience and your amazing team and the deals that you're doing, sometimes things go sideways. How do you pull out and stay grateful for what does happen in the new future you're building? Very good question. Very good question. Uh, you know, Walter, you hit the nail on the head, brother. I have some foundation principles and everybody does, right? I believe when a situation of adversity comes in your lap, it's meant to be. Hold on. 
I mean, you just accept it. You just accept it. Because the sooner you accept that negative or a very trying experience, very negative, very stressful, very, uh, you know, uncalming experience, I say that, right? You got to accept it. That's the number one thing. But you got to concentrate why it happened, but it happened. Okay. So now we could take our time to decide, do I want to go in a spiral down or do I want to stay where I am with my thinking? And I put my energy into solving. See, situation, negative or positive, always brings results. And then you have to find the, to get out of it. If the stressful situation came, like, you know, I mentioned in some of my recordings, I've been stressed with so many things in my life in the last 15 years. Oh my gosh, I could write books after books after books, but I like to talk more positive and everything, right? And, and Vinny, you but, know what? People think they're going to have a lot of money and that means all the stress goes away, but it, it doesn't, no, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. There's more stress, brother. <laughs> well, it's a different kind of stress. Like, because a lot of the stress that comes up, you can just pay for it to go away, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. When you have a little bit more money in the bank, you say, okay, I can finance this. I could do this. I could do that. And the money can come in 15 days later or two weeks later for closing on the deals and things like that. But you know, you're so right. Money, you are less stressful. <laughs> you know, you're happy stressful maybe is the word. I don't know. <laughs> but the thing is, you got to really hit it smack, you know, to the situation which we are in and that's what i would like to talk about you know the thing is where we are today everybody listening to us are you happy are you contented are you happy with what you did in the last three months i say that or last six months remember this is june 30th coming up brother halfway yeah. to 2022 so i have these cold sheets i would love to send them to you with my mastermind my you know inner circle i give those out to them and they fill out these gold charts. I think there are three pages and we update them always. So that really puts into their mind in December what they have accomplished in 2021 and what were good things they did, what were bad things, what habits they had and how what their goals for 2022 and so on. So we do it every year, every year. And the best part is, I can go back and maybe one day we should do it in my office, this uh, our eight, uh, this uh, eight o'clock uh, uh, Zoom, where I will show you my goal book. Vinny keeps records, brother. Oh my <laughs> gosh, 30 years back, 40 years back, I'll take you to my goal book. I still have it. And it's written out with my goals and aspirations and deadlines and everything. That's what it's all about. See, dreams are dreams unless you bring them into goals, written down goals. We got to write them down. And the deadlines to our dreams are goals. And then we need to figure out consistently what are the steps that are going to you know, reach us. Step A, B, C, D. We never go from A to Z overnight. We never do. But the thing is, we got to take steps and have the burning desire and passion to serve people. I know we talked about it last week too, because any game plan, any kind of aspirations that we have, unless we give gratitude, aha, uh -huh, we came uh, back in a circle. <laughs> we came back in a circle, brother. We came back in a circle because if I don't pay gratitude to my team, my vice presidents, my daughter, my wife, my son, you know, and everybody who is associated with me, every morning and I feel that they have the best days ever ever in their lives and give the positivity and the you know energy to them to do their jobs very very successfully right then I'm aligned and that's what the key to success is to really give positivity I say you know and does it cost me any money no brother no it's just the attitude. It's the attitude of gratitude that you give out to everybody around you, to your clients, to your vendors, to your investors, to your lenders, to your brokers. 
You know, Vinny, what I love about hanging out with you is I, I learn more about, it's not just real estate investing, but I'm learning more about leadership. You know, I learn more about, uh, even with your community, you're tracking their goals. You're having them track their goals. So your mastermind is actually writing down their goals and and you're redoing that. I, I was talking to Darina this morning about just reconnecting with community, how important that is. You know, we have a thousand members in Alchemist Nation. And I told her, I was like, who is reaching out to these people? Like who's actually yeah. going out and saying, Hey, how are you? What are your goals? Where are you at with them? How can we yes. support you? Yes. And, you know, cause I'm only one person, but the team is bigger than me and we can all, you know, contribute to maybe a hundred people each. Totally, um, totally. Vinny, like how, how do you, as you expand and as your, your community gets bigger, as you have more people to serve, what are some of the things that you're doing or, or you're seeing yourself having to implement to serve on that higher level to still keep in touch with everybody? You know, I think the biggest thing I find is that I need to be connected every week, every week. So we have, oh my gosh, how many thousands of hours of my uh, mentoring, uh, you know, uh, for the last three years. I've been doing it for about seven, eight years now, right? My academy and everything is so huge. So we are able to bring the experience into on a weekly level or monthly level, my inner circle, I meet with them, you know, my yearly, and then, uh, I mean, monthly, sorry. And then of course, retreats and all, you know, people come and, you know, hug and, you know, like that. But Zoom is such a great avenue, which I started using it 14, 15, 16 years back when it was WebEx, you know, remember? And then yeah, WebEx. Uh, Skype. <laughs> Skype, remember Skype, those days, yep. brother? Yes, yeah, Skype, brother. So it's all there. It's all there. We could be as close. Like just now, I just finished a call from my good partners from Greece, you know, right there, Athens, you know, and it was a half an hour call, even though they've been talking to me through the email, but it's a different feeling when you meet one-on-one -on -one across the world. But the yeah. attitude is, they have never done business with me. I'm saying that right now, but I treated them as if they're my clients already. As if. <laughs> Act as if. <laughs> but yeah, I you just know, made you... this post. I just made a post this morning. Dorina wants a horse. So yeah, she bought see? the saddle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, she's doing the right thing. Dorina, good for you. Good for you. See, you've got to really, really. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, we got to go into this space now. I used to have about 45 consultants, I think, reporting to me in my motivation speaking, and I would travel and I'll sit down, look at their goals and everything as a you know leader. And then I'll say, what kind of car you want? Oh, you want Mercedes. While they are writing it down, I'm checking the Mercedes dealership in that town where it is close by. And I say, hey, I've got to meet somebody. <laughs> they say, what? And I'll put that into navigation. And they're driving all the way. And it's the Mercedes dealership. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then I say, okay, what color? Let's go here. You know, I mean, it's bigger than even making, you know, time for sitting down. It's visualization. It's visualization of the goals, visualization and burning desire. Because once we have a very definite thing in mind, you will work like crazy because that's going to get you in a much different atmosphere of abundance thinking. And you're talking to the, uh, you know, asking the proper questions to your client and you're, you'll be closing much more sales. Literally. Oh my gosh. You know, my retention level in my business used to be 90, no, 86.4%. What? That's high. That's, That's high. very high, brother. Very yeah. high. Because I treated every client with so much respect, which everybody does. You know, hopefully everybody does. The key thing is, you know, when they met me once a year, but because of my digital signature with my picture on it, I've had that Vinny Smile Chopra for the last 44, 45 years now. And my picture. So when I walk in after one year into the office of my you know, client, they say, Vinny, how are you? Holy moly. I saw them one year back. 
But the thing is, you've got to have digital picture of yourself, feel good about yourself. And then you put, you know, newsletters and things, you know, so that you are keeping in touch with the people you serve. I say that always, right? So that's just one thing. But let's just go back to the goals are so important, so important, written down goals. And then feedback. Oh my gosh, Walter. Feedback. Many times we write down goals, but we never look at them. You know, three months later, we look at them and say, oh, I didn't hit this. I didn't hit this. I didn't hit this. Oh, I thought about this, but that came, this came, all that stuff, right? Full yeah. of baloney. Bullshit. Yeah. You know, you got to look at, you know, your, your goals every day, every week. You got to, you got to, you got yeah. to. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to talk about something else. Vinny didn't have much at all. You know, I grew up with my mom giving me five rupees as my pocket allowance, brother. Seven dollars, right, Vinny? The dollars, it's like 10 cents. Let's okay. say 10 cents for the month for me to spend in India when I was growing up, right? But the thing is, somehow I remember now, I look back at my life. I always lived, even with five rupees, I spent a little bit, you know, the paisa or whatever in Indian, you know, that's like one fifth of that, well, one fiftieth of that, you know, uh, like a day and enjoy and everything. But the thing is, you've got to be happy where you are. Yeah. You got to be happy where you are. I was so happy when I was growing up. I don't have any qualms about it. Even though we were in one bedroom apartment, eight of us, six siblings and my parents, eight of us, you know, one bedroom, one living room, one hallway, and all these three converted into bedrooms every night. Every night, hallway got converted into bedroom and living room and everything and all that stuff anyway. But the thing is, you know, you got to be really looking at, I, I want to share this thing. I was, I think I had a Granada car back then in Ohio and I wanted a better radio for me, but I couldn't afford it at that time. I think it was 300 bucks or something, right? Guess what? The this old was, radio this was a, a, from the a, car. The car radio in Ohio, in Granada. I took it out. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> no. Oh, maybe I should move. To a so you, you took place. the radio out. Can you hear me all right, brother? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, brother. Yep. But what I did was, I just want to tell, you know, everybody who's watching us now and later, I took out the radio, the old one. Then for three months, I had no radio in my car, brother. Oh, I was looking at that empty spot for the radio and getting motivated to earn commission because I used to make $10,000 commission, you know, uh, drug its commission, it used to be called. That's how my beginning was in my life, you know, in this year, in this country. Anyway, but the thing is, I looked at that goal. That goal was so, I mean, hitting at me every day from morning till evening when I saw that hole in the dashboard of the car. See, that's how it is. You've got to really set yourself up for victory. You got to set yourself up visualization. That's what we talked about. It's everything happens twice. Once in your mind, what you want to achieve. Second is believing it that you will achieve. Third is manifestation of that, you know, which is again, doing in physical sense, achieving it. So it was wonderful after three months or so, I got a commission check. I went down to, you know, the shop over there and picked up a good, nice stereo, <laughs> you know, to put it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's what I was saying, Vinny. Uh, this is a tip. If you're currently not able to afford a new car, what I did was I went, I couldn't afford a new truck at the time. I was, I was still hustling. I went out and I, I bought a new radio. I bought a Bluetooth radio with the lights and better sound systems. I think it cost five, 600 bucks. And instead of, you know, taking on a new payment because the car was paid off, I ended up driving that truck a whole extra two years because the sound system <laughs> felt good it. enough to, to keep it going. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, this I just is told so myself, funny. Vinny, I, I said, I'm going to go clean the whole truck. I'm going to make it nice. I'm going to clean it and I'm put a new stereo in. And that's how I'm going to to stay whole, driving this vehicle for the next two years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just brought up something, brother. I bought a cappuccino machine. It was rather big, but I liked it. It was on sale. <laughs> and, you know, I brought it home. This is like, I think, seven years back or something, right? You know? And then my wife said, oh, no, Vinny, you can't put it in the kitchen. Kitchen is kind of, you know, it was big but small, right? <laughs> and I have a video on that. Uh, some people asked me that question in my new kitchen, new home that we purchased three years back or so. I said, you know, we just bought the kitchen and the new home to fit that latte machine. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta expand a little bit so you can expand a I lot. Know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I mean, it was sitting in the garage for three, four years, literally, brother. And so I told my wife, I said, okay, hopefully if we can afford, we'll get a bigger house to fit this latte machine. <laughs> I love it. So oh that's, uh, that's about 30 minutes on the call. I know we had, I gotta apologize to everybody. We had a little bit of issue with the sound for a few yes, minutes there. Yes, so sorry. Uh, so thank sorry. you for your understanding. Thank you for your patience. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Definitely, we've got a course coming up. Vinny's gonna be speaking for a few minutes, sharing some of his knowledge around raising private capital this Saturday, June 4th. So we're yep. two days away. If you haven't already registered, go to the link in the bio. It's called Get the Money. This is for raising private capital. He and I will be talking, and we're also going to create an opportunity for what yes. is probably the best sales training for raising capital has ever been created ever on the planet. Um, uh, we're going to share it with you for uh, for like an amazing offer. It's going to be an amazing deal because me and Vinny agree. Mm. The only thing we'll ever sell is something that makes a lot of sense. Um, and here's the thing that you will walk away from. Uh, you will know how to raise private capital. You will have the right relationships, you have the right knowledge, you have the right resources to raise uh, a million, two million, a hundred thousand, ten dollars, whatever your goal is. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do it. And what's cool is we'll be there answering questions. You know, ask your you're questions. So, you're so right, Walter. I want to assure everybody that we'll give you so many tools that you'll be able to just run with them. It's not just the knowledge. You can, you will get scripts. You'll get everything. And all the things that I've designed over the last, you know, 15, 18 years, I have, I'm total open book. I never hold back, you know, and I want everybody to be very, very successful. We'll provide you all the tools. I have raised almost 190 million, 190 million. And I just raised 9 million in nine days. Galter knows it in the last two weeks or three weeks. So, you know, I hope I can share the knowledge with all of you. So please join and uh, it'll be fantastic, fantastic this, this Saturday. Awesome. Vinny, I can't wait to see you hang out with you again. Thank you so much for doing these calls. He's Thursday Abundance. If you want to find out more about Vinny Chopra, he is on Facebook, Vinny Smile Chopra. And if you want to learn more about success in building, uh, building that abundance mindset, then grab his book, Posity Brings Profitability. Uh, or his you. other book, you got the other one right here. If you're really deep into apartment syndications, you are definitely going to want to show up Saturday because we're going to talk a lot about it. Uh, but his book, this is where I started. This is where I learned how to do the process and uh, wouldn't have met Vinny or known who he was if it wasn't for all the effort he put into those books. So thank you, Vinny, for your dedication to building millionaires. We're on a mission to build 100 millionaires who are inspired to build 100 millionaires. And as you yes. said... Uh, why not do a million millionaires? So thank you, brother. Yes, yes, yes. And I hope everybody, please do get your seat for the October convention coming up that Walter and the whole team is putting together. I'll be there. I'm very excited. It's going to be so much fun. It's a great event. That's annual event. So please go get your you know, seats for that too. Yes. 100 Millionaires Summit. There might be a free gift. There might be a book that Vinny is donating to yes, our, yes, our yes. members, everybody who's at the 100 Millionaires Summit in Orlando. So again, thank you, Vinny. And for anybody who doesn't know about it, click the link below or go uh, click the link in the bio or go to 100millionairesummit.com. Cheers to your success. We have a choice. Always work with the best. We'll see you guys next week. We'll see you next week. After that, I go to Iceland on Friday. So Saturday, I mean, Thursday, 
we'll do the abundance call and i'm really excited about you know our trip coming up with the family it's good to live the life i say that you know please live the best life ever today god bless you all